So most recently, we did the right-handed draft. Did not go well. So we're going to do the left-handed draft, and hopefully this one goes a little bit better. So let's see what happens here. We get the Boston Bruins. Mitch, probably pretty happy right now. And I think we're all good here. Do need to change some of this stuff, though. Owner mode. Let's turn that off. Fantasy draft, obviously. Salary cap, we'll keep it on. Head coach, edit lines. Don't even think about it. Jabron. And I just realized I haven't done a career sim in a while either. I'm used to turning these on for that, but... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, player morale, sure. Turn off the meetings, though, and yeah, we should be good. All right, which pick will we get? Let's say number... I think we're gonna get a high one this time. Let's go with number seven. I don't know. I just have a feeling, but that is probably totally wrong. We're gonna find out, and 21. Yep, I was miserably wrong. So we'll have a better chance with goalies this time, because as I explained in the last video, even though, you know, it's... If they catch right, they might shoot left, but it's... Whatever. I just kind of did... Based on the word, basically. So it said right, so I was like, yeah, it's the right draft. So this is the left draft now. So if it says left, which it will, then we take that. So let's go in here and see. We can take Marchand. We can also take Malkin. Bergeron's off the board. Roman Yossi's there. Where I feel like, where were all these right-handed players last draft? <laughs> Honestly. I feel like Sebastian Ajo is a player I don't take very frequently. So let's, sure, let's sign him up for the team. And we'll have two picks kind of close together here. Uh, which is nice, I guess. But then we're going to have a massive gap. So let's see who we can take here. We have a centerman. I'm not going to take a goalie just yet. But I do want to grab maybe a defenseman. Or maybe just a winger. I don't know. Let's see who's available, I guess. All right, let's take Roman Yossi. Yeah, he is left-handed. He's making $9 million, which is a lot. But you know what? He's a 90 overall defenseman. It's a very good player to pick up. I honestly didn't realize that there was this many right-handed defensemen. Like, this is mind-blowing to me. But anyway, I mean, we could take Ekman Larson. Petrie is also right-handed. Klingberg's also right-handed. What is that? All right, Taylor Hall, 87 overall, $4 million bucks. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's take on OEL. 87 overall. It's another good defenseman. So hopefully that first defensive pair will have some chemistry there. And I kind of want to take a goalie soon, but I don't know. Goalies are pretty important, or at least I found that they have been. So maybe we should... Wow, that dwindled down real quick. Okay, well, we have Grubauer, Varlamov, and Bobrovsky. I don't know. Do any of these catch right? I severely doubt it. No. Okay, so we're going to take Grubauer just because of that 3 million... And as you guys know, I'm a stickler for trying to stay within the salary. Not always successful, but the effort's there. Let's take Jaden Schwartz. He is a sniper, and yeah, you know what? He looks like a good player. $5 million isn't crazy. We can definitely take that on. So we currently have two left wingers, a center, two defensemen, and a goalie, just in case you couldn't read. Okay, let's take Hoffman as well. 85 overall. Yep, 4 million bucks. Not a bad deal. Jake Muzzin, 85 overall. 5.6. Let's go ahead and sign up Jake. I mean, this team coming together, I think, better than the right-handed draft. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see when I put the lines together. But my initial sort of reaction here is that this is going to be better than the right-handed draft. Is Platt right? He is left. All right, let's take Palat. Yanni Gord, listed as a right winger, but he's right slash left wing. Five millions a little bit, but you know what? I am going to... Oh, wow, we only have 28 million. We're going way over the cap this time. That's a given. I am going to take Mike Smith. I mean, 1.5 million. I would take Lundqvist, but or should I give him one more chance to redeem himself? All right, Hank, this is your last chance. If you blow it again... I, I can't. I, I can't. I'm sorry. I love you, but I just can't. In an attempt to save some cap space here, I am going to pick up Zdeno Ochara. Left-handed defenseman, 83 overall, 43 years of age. League minimum, pretty much. Oh, Eric Stull. That is a prime pickup right there. 1.6 million. Yes, please. Nick Foligno as well. A left slash right winger here. Two-way forward, which I know is apparently not the best, but it is what it is. I'm going to take Foligno, and I'm going to try to get Jumbo Joe next as well, because I'm trying to take some not cap heavy players right now so basically i need three more forwards and two more defensemen so let's try to find i think bobby ryan's right-handed if i am not mistaken okay we have 16 million dollars of cap space lars eller that'd be not a bad pickup shoots left 3.5 we can make we can make that work travis hamannick with the 1.25 there you go i just realized hamannick shoots right so that's a thing Guess I can't use him now. That was a waste of a pick. I will take Derek Broussard, maybe. Because he's only making $1 million. But, oh, this is tough. 
What about Smith? I know he's been lighting it up. Oh, he's right-handed. Okay. Uh, it's a single, perhaps. Shoots left. And he's probably a two-way forward as well, right? Oh, man. Okay, I don't know. I'm a little stuck right now. Well, I'm going to take Kempney because he actually shoots left. So, there we go. And then I'm going to have to go one draft pick past the big stoppage where it takes like a year for it to get past the one round all right Braden Coburn also left there you go so I think that we are done for defensemen now so I think I just need like what two or three forwards maybe I need two forwards all right well considering we only have two picks left I yeah we only need two forwards I'm gonna take James Neal he's making almost six million but you know he's a power forward he might be good for that fourth line all right let's take Mark Marcus Foligno, I wanted to make sure he shoots left. Okay, 2.8 million, which kind of puts us over the cap. But when you take in the Travis Hamannick pick, I think we're good. I just want to do the math to make sure we... Yeah, like, yeah, okay. I, I guess the drafts just, in general, everything after that one just takes significantly longer. But anyway, let's sim the entire draft and put this team together. This simply will not stand. I will not. No. Oh, come on. That's a plus three, two. And I got to take him out now. Let's just, let's just verify. I mean... I'm pretty sure he's right-handed, but let's, um, yeah, he shoots right. Okay. Crap. Hey, it stayed at plus three. Let's go. First liner, James Neal, boys. Sebastian Aho, Taylor Hall, and James Neal. There you have it. All right, well, here's our lines. On defense, we've got, yeah, let me just go through real quick and make sure everyone's left-handed. I want to make sure I didn't accidentally take a right-handed player because it is usually bound to happen because it's a long draft. And at some point, I slip up. But it looks like I did pretty good. All right, yeah, we're fine. It's a pretty good team, but I don't know, man. Okay, well, you know what? I, I'll make my prediction anyway. I'm going to say we get 40, 45 wins. And I'm going to say Sebastian Aho gets the most points with 83. We're off to a hot start here. Let's keep it up here. Oh, yeah, 3-0. This simply is not sustainable. Like, we're going to... Something's going to happen. Well, let's just look at it for what it is now. 11-1-2. and 12-1-2. Apparently, this is the best team I've ever drafted. I don't know what I did different this time, but I, I I don't know. This team is probably one of the better fantasy drafts we've had so far. However, that being said, still great chance that we could collapse after the trade deadline. Let's go into the trade deadline thing just to see, you know, who's on the block and whatever. So, we've got Yandel, Nuge, Zook. We got Jared Spurgeon, Ranta, Allmark, Mrazek, Bernier, Hyman on the Sharks, and Larson. All right. Interesting. No real, like, super big hauls here, I don't think. Keith Yandel to Detroit for a first, and Dickinson. Sunk. Wow, we are really going to break 50 wins. That is, well, I mean, we could have what happened to the Dallas Stars and I'd be a pro and just lose every game post, well, I guess not. Never mind. As I was in the midst of saying that, we won a game, but... Yeah, we are looking like we're going to pass 50 wins, which I don't know, like, what did I do different this time? I still don't understand this game. Like, we had an absolute disgraceful post-trade deadline. I, I don't know why this game seems to do that. But anyway, that was probably one of the better simulations I've ever had with a fantasy draft. So let's go see who did what. Well, we finished first in the Atlantic with 110 points. Did we get the Presidents? No, Calgary takes that. And the Islanders also finished ahead of us, unfortunately. But either way, still a very, very solid finish from your boys. And let's see who the lowest team that made the playoffs is. I guess 18 St. Louis. All right, well, there you have it. And let's go check out some individual player stats now. Sebastian Aho put up 88 in 82. We got Taylor Hull, or as I like to call him, Thull with 62. Yossi with 61. OEL 54. Palat. All right, good job. Who got the least amount on the team? Let's figure that out. We got nine out of Kempney. He's only a dash too, so that's not too bad, I guess. I'm guessing that, oh, wow, a plus 40, plus 38, plus 31. Good job, guys. Really good job. Okay, let's go to goalies. And Hank really pulled his weight this time. All right, I see you, Henrik. He got 15, 7, and 0 with one shutout, a 930 and a 210, and then a 911, 267 with four shutouts, and a record of 38, 18, and 4 with Grubauer. Both goalies did well. Kemper and Rask are up there for the most wins, both with 44. And if we go to all skaters, we see that the president, sorry. <laughs> yeah, he wins the whole president's trophy. Just him. Okay, the Art Ross goes to Malkin. There we go. That's better. By quite a bit, too. He was 10 points up on Marshan, who was second. McKinnon with 99. Stamkos, 96. Panarin. We got Petrosian, Kessel, Backstrom, McDubstep. All right, we're probably going to get first rounded, but let's just see what happens here. Oh, I like that. Come on, boys. The Sens. Let's take them down. Here we go. It's 2-1 right now. 
Don't let them... Oh, they tied it up. Okay. Game seven? Oh, we actually pulled it off. Holy crap. I was terrified. In fact, I had pretty much already just accepted that we lost, but here we go. All right. Oh, making a... No, we're out. All right, that's it. It's all she wrote. At least we made it past round one. And they ended up going on to win the cup. Of course they did. Well, let's have a look at the awards here. Detroit with the Stanley Cup. We knew that. And there you go. So let's go have a look quickly at Calgary and Detroit's roster. And here are the individual awards for anyone who is interested in seeing those. Did we get any? It looks like no. I don't think we did. All right. Calgary had Nate Mack, as we saw. Tyson Berry, he won an award as well. Anders Lee, Garland. They had Hornquist, Brady Kachuk. They do have a pretty darn good team here. I must admit. So yeah, they have a pretty solid squad. In net, they had, oh uh, yeah, Darcy Kemper. We saw him as well. Detroit had Hellebuck in net, who is an absolute machine. Jake Allen there as well. If we go to all skaters, we have Ovi with 89 and 52. Holy smokes. Taze with 70. Okay, they also have a pretty good team, but I don't know. I don't feel like this is better than ours, really, but uh, who am I? Here is the playoff tree. That's how it went down. Detroit basically just blew past everybody. Five games every series. That's incredible. Did the Ducks ever struggle? No. They, in fact, had a very easy path as well, but then they just got destroyed by Detroit. Well, that's interesting. Okay, well, that was the left-handed draft this time. And that was more successful than the right-handed draft by a significant margin. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to leave draft and just general video ideas down there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.